The project was designed and developed to deliver legal drafting training to the next generation of lawyers in Tanzania. We were very fortunate that we were able to call upon the expertise of an international team of lawyers from our clients GE and Barclays. We were also very fortunate to be in a position to use the resource and local intelligence of our firm in Dar es Salaam, um, IMA Advocates. I tell you that you are the luckiest lot. Many lawyers would have liked to be in your places for these coming two weeks. So do not waste this chance. You will never have this golden opportunity again and at such a, a low cost on your part. <laughs> The lawyers in the project team came from all over Europe, um, the Middle East and Africa. So it uh, incorporated a very diverse team which was a great help in understanding some of the local culture. We believe that this unique module will be beneficial to our trainee lawyers who certainly will become our future advocates. I'm Zimbabwean, I grew up in Zimbabwe and did my legal training there. And this project appealed to me not only because it was coming back to Africa, but also by teaching here in the law school in Dar es Salaam, we get to touch the lives and careers of almost 200 Tanzanian lawyers and hopefully equip them better to go out into their communities and serve them as better lawyers. The uh, head of the commercial courts at actually at one stage sort of tongue-in-cheek compared to Tanzanian lawyers with witch doctors. Um, the point being that nobody quite understands what they're saying, nobody quite understands how they go about what they do, but we need them. Um, so I think what has been rewarding is the fact that what we are teaching the students is exactly that. It's exactly uh, around simplifying the English, making things easily accessible, easily understandable, um, and hopefully that will enhance two things. One, uh, people's accessibility to the courts and also the uh, dispensation of justice in a more timely manner. The training that we provided was needed not only to help inspire and educate the next generation of lawyers in Tanzania, but it was also necessary to help build the academic curriculum of the law school in Tanzania. Uh, at present the law school teaches by rote and the law students are not involved in practical exercises and practical work experience. So the project team brought together a different style of teaching which was interactive and practical and made the students think for themselves uh, in practical exercises and case studies. What could be some other examples of why you need a time period between signing your contract and the training was delivered by lawyers from DLA Piper, G and Barclays. Indeed, we had a very senior team of lawyers from G uh, who collaborated on this project with us. It's a big, big learning for me in that participating in this project was to uh, become totally involved in a, an African project. So we interacted with senior judges, we interacted with the faculty of the law school, of course we interacted with the uh, students and uh, seeing how all that worked together and how the, the university um, operates was for me uh, um, a, a new insight so that was really the most interesting aspect of the, uh, of the project for me. It's not uncommon for the students to be taught, for 190, 250 students to be taught by one lecturer in one room um, from 8 o'clock in the morning till 8 o'clock at night. We wanted to break the students down into as fewer groups as possible so we could give, we couldn't give one-on-one -on -one training with like 200 students, but into small groups so that we could engage with them in a more practical way and that seemed to be very welcome. For me, the real stimulation was to actually get an opportunity to do the practical work because we've had four years of you know, theories and writings and now you, you kind of get this feeling, you get the real picture of how you will be in the field. We created a proper relationship and uh, we really kind of like, like uh, learned about you know, uh, teamwork 
So learning by doing is quite important for us and it's beneficial for each and every one of us who aspires in the coming future to become a lawyer, be it a corporate lawyer or whomever, but as a lawyer in that discipline. It's good because be, we are learning by doing. I think what we did was, was somewhat unique in that we were able to deliver to the students and give them practical examples of, of real life situations um, as a practicing lawyer in an inter on an international stage and working in partnership with our, our global clients um, Barclays and GE, we were also able to give the students an idea of the opportunities that they have as lawyers and when working in business both in Tanzania and, and on the um, global platform. We have, we have uh, experience from experienced lawyers and uh, not only the Tanzanian experience which has been what they have been doing before but now we get experience even from the outside world so we make a better product and we think we're going to be better than them, right? When it comes to the real thing, I'll be able, I'll be in a position to draft real documents as a lawyer. You guys have brought some good challenges to our system and we have accepted it, we are using it, it's good. I've been very impressed at the standard of the students themselves, their engagement, their knowledge of the law um, and the keenness to, to give back to their communities. They, they very much want to go back into their communities and practice law, which is very noble. The most rewarding part of this experience has been able to be part of a team of qualified lawyers passing on our experience to the young students of Tanzania and helping them to become clear and effective communicators in their written drafting skills. It's been really rewarding to see how they have developed in terms of their knowledge, their application of the teaching methods that we're working with them on, and also their confidence and their participation in the, the activities which we're running with them throughout the course of the week. Participating in a pro bono and a volunteering project like this one is actually very rewarding. It was a, it was a very rewarding experience. It was just a fantastic, a fantastic team. The collaboration and interaction with all the team members was friendly, conducive, hardworking, and showed a commitment that um, I've rarely seen in a work type atmosphere. Uh, from that perspective, um, it's something that we should definitely repeat. Next generation, making a difference, cross border growth. Academic growth, sharing knowledge and experience, friendship, raising aspirations, building confidence, giving something back, team building. Adaptability, learning by doing. Capacity building, challenging, enthusiasm. Education, collaboration, relationship. Talent, communication, bringing values to life. Practical learning, community, empowerment. Working in teams, cultural exchange, commitment. Hamjambo <laughs> wanafunzi! Uh, uh, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you.